So, I figure I'll do a short video about, not about gold and silver, but um, for anyone that believes in God, um, three years ago, God gave me a dream. Actually, I just started collecting silver this year, and three years ago, I, God gave me a dream of, uh, I, there was like, I had these bags, I don't know how I can explain it. Probably, uh, I don't know. see that bin? They were about that big, maybe a little bigger. And, uh, there's little coin purses in each, uh, in each bag. Hundreds of them. And each little coin purse had, uh, one silver coin in each. And behind the silver coin, they're all open, like little zippers on them. You know, the coin purses were probably about like this big. <clears throat> and there's a one silver coin. And then behind the silver coin, there were rolled up $100 bills, probably one to 2,000. You know, hundreds of, uh, hundreds of little coin purses. And there's probably 10 to 12 bags large beer large bags in the attic that of the house that i currently live uh rent the room in <clears throat> and this was i believe it was a year before i moved in here i had a dream of the attic and there were the bags there and there were <clears throat> obviously the money and the, the silver coins and also in the attic it was it looked exactly the same as I've never been up there. And when I went up there, I got the chills because it was the same. The light up in the attic was the same in my dream. And there was another thing in my dream that I found kind of weird. But if you ever seen the movie uh, <clears throat> Donnie Darko, where he's in the, the movie theater and he sees like he's able to go into the uh, into the screen to another location or whatever. That's kind of how it was, but I didn't go into the, the screen, but there was a, a screen up there, not a TV, just an, almost like a vision, and Walmart was there, and I didn't understand that part of the dream or the other part of the dream. I, I'm thinking that maybe the silver is going to skyrocket like that, so it might be smart to start picking up, uh, start buying silver. <clears throat> but I think the Walmart dream was... God telling me to stock up on food as well as silver because I've been watching other prophetic videos and I a lot of people are saying that God's saying that uh, there's going to be like no food and people are going to starve to death and you know that's basically what I'm been hearing so I'd rather be safe than sorry and I remember with the toilet paper pandemic when there's no toilet paper you know God still blessed me through when I had my own business cleaning windows, he uh, hooked me up and I was still able to get toilet paper because there was nothing in the stores, you know. So basically, <clears throat> that's, you know, the video. I don't have a lot of silver right now and I only have a little bit of gold. I only have a couple grams here, nothing crazy. You know, I actually, a few months ago, I had to sell some of my silver so I can get food because I just give it give it away and I have given a lot like I used to have double this and I gave it a lot a lot of it away just because I don't know it's better to give than receive you know <laughs> but my personal um, recommendation for anyone that is leery about what to invest in I would definitely invest in silver. You know, everyone can, can get a lot of silver. I mean, gold obviously is expensive now, but I heard long, long, like long time before that dream that gold was going to jump five times, and I don't know how much silver is going to jump. But according to that dream, you know, if you can get an ounce of silver for uh, now, be anywhere from twenty to forty bucks. And if that dream is correct, then it's going to shoot up like 30 or 40 times. You know, that's what I'm, I'm assuming, you know. Then I would 
I would definitely jump on the train. You know, I, I looked online for a few different sites and they said they're out of stock and they're big sites, you know, and I, I definitely would like to have a lot more than this, but I'm sure any, any amount would be good. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm, like I said, I'm not a dealer or anything with silver. I don't, uh, I get a little bit every month. I'm not rich, you know, but I would highly suggest, you know, get into the word, read the Bible, you know, cause we're not, this isn't like, this isn't our permanent home. Our permanent home is in heaven. You know, I really believe that, you know, when we pass, it's either heaven or hell and it's a free gift, salvation, you know, but all we gotta do is believe that he died on the cross for our sins and re ro rose again on the third day and, you know, accept him in our hearts, a free gift. I mean, most people, we got free will because he gave us free will. And, you know, it's up to us to choose that because we're gonna stand before him on judgment day or, you know, when we pass and, you know, he's going to uh, either, either accept us or reject us based on if we accepted him or rejected him. And it's a free gift. And I heard there's going to be, he has a mansion for us and all that stuff. I mean, obviously being in heaven inside the gates, all that matters. You don't have to, uh, don't have to uh, have a real nice house, but yet he's, make it away for us and he's going to come back anytime so you know t we only have today tomorrow isn't promised but you know i definitely believe in god and jesus and i know that's I, i've studied a lot of other religions and when it comes down to it you know get jesus definitely get some silver 100 percent. i highly recommend it you know gold if you can afford it i can't really afford a lot of gold, but it's nice to have a little bit of gold. And, uh, you know, I would, it's never a bad investment because it, it never, it goes up and down, but it'll never lose its value. You know, it's not like, like I heard on, <clears throat> like I did a lot of research in this country, in the United States, and in 1933, they actually took the gold off the dollar. So it's, it doesn't have anything backing it. It's not, uh, it's not backed by gold. You know, if you have actual physical gold and physical silver, it's actually uh, going to keep its value. So, yeah, that's it. God bless. And I hope everyone uh, has a good rest of their day.